Hello everyone, I was just making a quick tips and tricks video to stream on Twitch, whatever you'd like, like on your TV, if you want to like broadcast your Oculus to your friends. So I'm gonna, I'm just going to show it from like connecting it from here. Uh, I'll show you once I get in. So what you're going to want to do is go in your browser or onto the mobile app and you're going to want to go to oculus.com slash casting. It's going to like make you sign into your account. And then you, uh, hold up, let me log in real quick. Let me get my back up a little bit so you guys can see me. Um, just give me one second. Okay, it should be casting. Okay, wait, let me go to full screen. Oh my god. It's kind of hard with this over your head. Mm, and you're going to want to go advance to crop that. So what you're going to want to do inside your headset is once you get to like the home page, like all this, like whatever it says, welcome Brandon. You're going to want to go to, or not apps, you're going to want to go to the sharing feature. And you're going to want to go to casting and it's going to come up with a thing like if you want to go into like your computer you'll click computer obviously um app store or whatever whatever to your tv whatever but yeah i just found that to be really interesting for me and it made it a lot easier because you don't have to go out and buy a chromecast so once you have your oculus connected to your pc through the oculus.com slash casting you want to go back over to Streamlabs or whatever you use you're gonna to wanna to create a input capture to bring in the audio through this so that you could like talk to your chat, engage with them. Uh, if you have a camera, you can set up the video capture device and just select it through there. I would recommend having a chat box because if you do something really cool and stuff like that, you can see like the chat's reaction to it. Then the output capture is really important because if you don't have that, they can't hear you, but, like what's happening in the game and stuff like that. Or if you're watching a YouTube video or whatever. And then the screen capture is what brings the your web browser, which is displaying all the content over to Twitch. But yeah, I appreciate you guys watching. I, I just found this really interesting to me that I didn't have to spend 40 to $50. I could do it just for free through Oculus sharing, but I really do appreciate you guys watching. Have a great night.